Okay, folks, let's get started in a seated position. Welcome to Warrior Wednesday. Today, our focus, our physical focus is on the glutes. Um, our larger focus is on something that Gail just said. So no irony here, no coincidence. It all gets to be here. So as we come to our cushion or our mat right now, I invite you to just close your eyes and take several deep breaths. And I'm just gonna leave you in quiet here for a moment, breathing. What do you notice in these first few moments of breathing and sitting? Our tendency is probably to notice the mind first, the thoughts, the thinking, the busyness. We usually show up here pulling with us where we've just been. And so maybe there's some lingering pieces of a task or a conversation. Maybe your mind is leaning forward into all the things you need to get done today, the boxes to check. Maybe there's a little frustration nagging at you. And so I say to you, it all gets to be here. Just bring it with you. Come as you are. At a layer a little more subtle than those thoughts is the layer of feelings or emotions. And so let's just notice what we brought with us in that backpack. And again, I say to you, it all gets to be here. These feelings, these emotions came through the door with you. And any attempt to stuff them down or push them away will cause strain and stress and frustration. So in these first few moments, let the feelings, the emotions be here. Pay attention to your body now. Just take a, a check through the body, a little body scan. This might involve a little bit of movement for you, it might be stillness. Just check in now with, with the layer of you that is your physical body. Notice the places that showed up today with a little tightness or soreness. The places that are kind of chronically tight or sore. And probably the places that actually feel good are not on your awareness. So bring your awareness to your whole body. And again, it all gets to be here because it's here. So taking in ourselves as this whole human being, let's start to deepen our attention to breath. This is the magic thread that brings us from where we've been to where we are. So inhale deeply, exhale fully. Do that a few more times. Really attentive to your breath. And as Thich Nhat Hanh says, breathing in, I am aware that I have a body. In that line, this idea, I am aware that I have a body. Who is this I that possesses a body? Let's settle our attention on that the eye that is aware and noticing the body breathing here. 
the eye that is noticing the thoughts and the feelings happening now. Let's take an hour to celebrate and salute this eye. Draw your shoulders up by your ears and just give a good squeeze there across the trapezius muscles. Just kind of sink your head down into those muscles and then pull your shoulders back drastically and down. Make the biggest movement you possibly can. Come up and squeeze, roll back and down. Right after a muscle finishes a tight contraction, it automatically relaxes. So we're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna contract our muscles and then soften and relax them. One more time, contract and relax. Settle your shoulder blades down your back. Sweep both of your arms up overhead. Let's interlace our fingers. We'll press the palms up to the ceiling, lengthening through both sides of the body. Inhale, contract the muscles tightly. Release your hands, exhale, soften everything. Inhale, interlace and press. Exhale, soften. One more time, interlace, breathe in and press. And open. Let's come down onto our backs and you'll need a block and a strap nearby for a couple of on our back exercises. Starting here with a block between our knees. So we're gonna press both of our feet into the earth and squeeze in on that block. And then on the inhale, press yourself up into bridge and exhale, tap back down lightly. You can set your weight down and then squeeze in, lift up. Exhale, set down. Moving with your breath. Our attention today is on strengthening the back of the hips as one more building block in our warrior three pose. So we'll do a lot of postures where we really focus on the strength of these muscles behind us. And the thing that's interesting is we're spending a lot of time sitting right now. And in sitting, these muscles are stretched and lazy. So they're kind of feeling like they haven't been invited to the party for a while, and they're a little shy to show up. Come up and hold, and I'd like you to just take your hands and feel the strength of these muscles. So when we're in bridge pose, we want to feel firmness in the back of our hips. Not strain, but just strength. And that's what we're gonna work towards today is the strength that really assists our lower back. Come back down. Release the block out to the side and take the, the strap into your hands. We're gonna take the right leg up in the air and keep the knee soft here for a moment and just let the leg come towards you and away. You can keep the other leg bent or straight, whichever feels good to your back. Just exploring a little bit of movement around the hip here. Just using the strength of your arm, let your leg just be as relaxed as it can possibly be, warming up at the hip joint, finding movement. And then holding your strap in both hands, we're gonna take the leg out on about a 45 degree angle, point your toes and try to pull the band down. So your arms are resisting and you're just creating an isometric contraction in the back of your body, trying to press that band down toward the floor. And then flex the foot, relax the knee, draw the leg closer to you. And then let that leg go out on an angle, point your toes and just pull down with the band. 
flex the foot and lift. And one more time, point your toe, press down, just feeling the strength in the back of that leg. And up with a gentle stretch. And then remove the band and let's switch sides. Left foot comes up, the knee stays soft. And just start to gently rock that leg forward and back. Try to just keep the muscles of the leg relaxed. Let your arms do the work at first. And this bottom leg could be bent or straight, your choice. And then we'll take that leg out on an angle. Point your toes and try to pull the band down. See if you feel the muscles all the way up the back of the leg and into your glute. And then flex the foot and come up nice and easy. Soften here. And then lower to that angle. Point your toes, pull down. Lots of strength. You'll feel your core working as well. Bring it up, soften the knee. And we'll go one more time. Point the toes, hold down on that leg. And then up with a soft knee, give yourself an easy little stretch here. We have so much strength in our bodies that we never tap into. Hidden pockets of strength. Let me go ahead and release your foot from the band. Set your band aside and go ahead and flip over onto your belly. Let's come all the way around and lift into Sphinx Pose. Spreading the fingers wide, elbows under the shoulders. Imagine dragging your rib cage forward to stretch your belly. You're gonna feel some strength in your back but I'd like you to also feel a little bit of tension and strength in your glutes. Notice how those contribute to back strength. And then release, let's give that a break. Just turn one cheek to the floor and wiggle out your hips. with hands by the shoulders, bring yourself up to a tabletop position. And here in tabletop, I'd like you to reach your hand up underneath and just make sure your belly's nice and firm. We really wanna have some strong core muscles here. Let's take our left toes back behind us, press the floor away from you, and then just lift and lower left leg. Lift and lower. See if you sense any movement in your spine. So we kind of have a tendency to do this rocking kind of motion. I'd like you to avoid that and just lift from the hip. Even if you have to hold below you with your belly, get the sense of just using your glutes to do the action. And then we're gonna come up and over the bottom foot, up and back. Make a little rainbow with your left toes trying to stay really stable and firm through the core. No bending or bowing there. Effort to lift that leg as high as you can. Your glutes should kind of be burning a little bit. Burning in the best way. Take the leg across, come onto the side of that foot, rotate your hips and give yourself a stretch. And that's what I promise you today is after every little bout of exercise, I'm gonna give you a nice stretch. I'm not that mean. <clears throat> Come back to center, shift side to side. And then let's find that strong core again. Use your hand if you need to, and then take the right toes back and we'll begin to lift them lower. Again, just notice the tendency to move from the spine and see if you can keep that spine firm, neutral. Just let the action be in the glutes.
these glutes want to be strong. They, they're like a younger brother. They just really want to be part of the game. And they've been sat on the sidelines a lot. <laughs> we'll start that rainbow action up and over, up and over. Lift the leg as high as you can. <clears throat> Bring your awareness to the sensation you're feeling. It's probably a burning muscle right now. And then we'll take the leg across, drop the foot to the outside edge, and then swivel your hips toward the right to find a little side hip stretch. <clears throat> Come back to center. Tucking our toes, shifting backwards. Let's lift into downward facing dog. And then just stretch your legs. Notice your hamstrings, the backs of your knees, and your calves. Take a deep breath in with a loud and long exhale. All right, if your wrists don't love this, drop to your elbows and come into dolphin. And we're gonna alternate lifting a leg here. So there's that glute. And we're just gonna go side to side, keeping the core strong and the spine nice and long. Whatever you notice, it all gets to be here. Bring your whole self to this practice, every bit of you. And let's drop our knees to the mat. Take the knees wide and shift back into child's pose. Now you've just got this really great stretch around your glutes, your hips. Breathe into this space. Coming up, we'll let our elbows lower to the floor. And you have a choice, either wide hands or interlace your fingers. I like to interlace. It makes me feel a little more stable through the center. From here, tuck your toes, lift up into dolphin. And we'll do that same action. So really press the floor away. Keep your core engaged while you lift a leg. You've got a little different angle. This is a little bit more upper glute. Any of these exercises that work for you, speak to you, start to throw these in your own practice. Anytime we're in dolphin, just raise your leg on your own to work toward your own glute strength. Drop the knees, press up to your hands, and let's step our right foot forward into a kneeling lunge. We'll take a moment here to stretch both hip flexor and glute. Draw back to straighten that front leg. And release, switch legs. Left foot comes forward. Find the glute and the hip, the hip flexor. Deep, full, smooth breaths. Paying attention to what you notice here. Shift back easy into a hamstring stretch. And then come forward. Tuck your back toes, lift up into a three-point balance. 
You've got those right toes behind us. You're welcome to use a block if you like. We're gonna lift and lower that leg here. So again, trying to stay strong through the core, so lifting the weight of the leg with the gluteus maximus. This puts any strain on your back. You could even put your hands on the seat of a chair and accomplish the same thing. Take the leg up and hold, flex the foot, lift it as high as you possibly can. And then we're gonna cross that leg behind the other leg. Walk your hands over to the left side, so towards that foot that's on its side. And breathe into the stretch for the outer hip. Deep breath in, maybe even a sigh as you let the breath go. <sighs> Ease your way back to center, uncross the feet. Let's lift halfway and we'll reach the arms up all the way. Extended mountain, take a deep breath in. Bring your hands to your heart. Pause to notice right side and left side. You might even bring your hands back there and just, we'll do a lot of palpating today. That means using your hands to feel where your body is. <laughs> How fun is that, right? Palpating our own butts. All right, hands at the crease of the hips, hinge forward, let's come into that three-point balance, left foot goes back. Feel free to rise up, rise your hands onto a block or a chair as we lift and lower the left leg. Core stays strong. Stay here. Aware of your breath and the way your body is feeling. Stay here. Notice thoughts, notice feeling, but don't pursue them. Stay here. The journey, the magic is right here. Let's take that leg up as high as you can. Flex the foot and hold, hold strong glutes. and then slowly lower that leg, crossing behind, and we'll twist. Walk your fingers toward that sideways foot. Deep breaths here. Breathing in, I am aware that I have a body. Breathing out, I feel gratitude for this body that I have. Come back to center. Uncross. Lift to half way, and then roll, roll your arms all the way up extended mountain. As we're here in extended mountain, I'd like you to find your glutes. So in order to do that, press your feet into the earth and let your hip points move forward just about an inch. So from here to there, just engage your glutes. That's the beginning of a back bend, those hip points sinking forward. From there, lift and lengthen up through the fingers and see if you can feel the action in your glutes. And bring your hands back to heart center. So I want you to do that a few times. Just press the hips forward and move the hips back. Press the hips forward and move the hips back. And the muscles doing that action are here, gluteus maximus. Their job is to extend the hip forward and move the thigh backward. That's their job. And that's what they're doing right now. So as we move through sun salutations, I want you to notice this action. I want you to notice what the glutes are able to do each time we inhale and lift up. All right, so here we go. Inhale, arms up, glutes squeeze, hips press forward. Exhale, fold, now the glutes get to stretch. Inhale to half lift and step back, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, plank pose. We're gonna hold right here to again, engage the glutes. So that doesn't mean sink down and arch your back, just squeeze and move the hip points forward slightly. Shoulders stay open. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. You can be on your knees or your toes. Come up to cobra or up dog and again, engage your glutes. Exhale back, stretch your glutes. Inhale to plank, engage your glutes. Exhale dog, stretch your glutes. And one more time, inhale, squeeze your butt. Exhale, stretch. Bring your feet to your hands. Lift halfway and fold forward. Reaching high, extended mountain. Press your hips forward again. Feel that. Good. And hands come to heart center. Bring your hands to your glutes, palpate. Um, I want to ask you a question. What do you, how do you refer to this part of your body? What do you call it? I've heard it said you can tell a lot about a yoga teacher by what they call this. And I always say glutes, so you know that I have a tendency towards anatomy language instead of calling it your booty or your bum or your butt. All right, here we go. Reach up, hip points press forward, lower down, stretch your butt. Inhale, half lift. Exhale back, down dog, another stretch. Come forward, firm your glutes, knees or toes, lower down and rise. Send your hips back, stretch. Inhale, plank pose, engage. Exhale, down dog, stretch. Inhale, engage. Exhale, stretch. Bring your feet to your hands, lift halfway, and come down into a deeper forward fold. With soft knees, reach high, extended mountain, engage again. Let's keep the arms up and feel the hips floating forward, come into a little bit more of a back bend. Length and strength. And bring your hands to your heart. So beautiful. Standing here in mountain pose, reach your left toes behind you. And the only way you could do that is the strength of your glutes. So I want you to feel that strong muscle now as you tuck your tailbone, sink your hips forward an inch or two, but try not to cave into your low back. This stays strong. Hands at the heart, lean back. Feel the strength of your glutes in this little back bend. Arms can stay down or lift high. Just make sure you don't put any strain in the middle or lower back. Glute strength. Bring your arms down to your sides, hands to heart, sit in chair. Believe it or not, this is a stretch for the glutes. <laughs> Come back to mountain. Sink your hip points forward, right toes back. Engage your glutes, lean back. You can stay here or add the length of your arms. Just feeling the whole back chain of your body. Strong, supported, supportive. Lift a little higher, find the strength behind you. And then bring your hands to your heart, sink into chair, stretch your glutes. Let's move with our breath. Inhale, touch a toe back, kind of back bend. Exhale, chair. Inhale to reach back. Exhale, chair. You're welcome to add arms overhead or stay close to heart center. Notice in your body if you tend to buckle through your back versus extend through your hip. There's a really big difference. 
And the easiest way is buckling through the back. Try to avoid that. Let the large muscles of the hips do the work one more time each way. And on your next exhale, fold your body down. Let everything stretch back there. Hamstrings, glutes, spine. Let's keep our right foot where it is and we'll take the left foot back coming into low lunge. We did some work on this last time, the stability in our hips. So I'd like to work on that here. So you're gonna press down into your right foot. And as you do that, put your hand on your right hamstring. You're gonna feel those muscles really engaged, really firing. Imagine putting a wrinkle in the middle of your mat as you drag your right heel back and your left toes forward. And they're not moving, but there's just a lot of action happening in your legs. Keep all that strength as you press on this top knee, lift up into high lunge. And you might have to start over there, press down through the foot. Imagine dragging the right heel back and the left toes forward. It's like scissoring the legs toward each other. Deep breath in. Long breath out. We're gonna reach back into a little bit more of a back bend. And on the exhale, fingertips to the floor, we'll teeter-totter the back leg up high. Come with me into a standing split. We'll do a fun little sequence here called Shiva squats. So on your exhale, bring the left foot to the back of the right ankle and take a nice little squat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. You're gonna come onto your right toes. And the left ankle rests on the back of the right ankle. Move with your breath. Should be very aware of glutes here. One more time, everybody lift and lengthen. For balance, you can bring one hand to the standing leg, maybe even two hands. If you're doing that, try looking out in front of you to help with balance. With your hands on the floor, step the back foot down, drop the heel, lift up into warrior one. Oh my goodness. Warrior two, open up. And we're just gonna straighten and bend that right leg. That should feel really good. Inhale the arms up as you straighten the leg. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This is Warrior Wednesday, right? And lower. Straighten the leg, come back to a reverse warrior. Take a few deep breaths into the side of your body. Take a lot of the work out. Just put the stretch in. And then release the arm. Turn all 10 toes to the long edge of your mat. Hinge from the hips, come down into a wide straddle, forward fold. Take a moment here to just let your breath catch up with you. You might close your eyes and do another body scan. Checking in with body thoughts, emotions, all the layers of who you are. Just embracing this whole self. Breathing in, I'm aware that I have a body. Breathing out, I feel gratitude for this body that I have. 
Let's lift halfway and we'll move around to our left foot, dropping the, uh, tucking the back toes, low lunge. And then create again this sensation of pressing down through the left foot. Use your left hand, feel the way the left hamstring and glute engage when you simply press down into your mat, there's stability there. It's a very, very simple action. Anytime you're getting ready to balance, start right there. And then imagine wrinkling your mat, pull the heel back and the toes forward. And as you keep all of that, rise up to your high lunge. Reset whatever you need to, to feel that scissoring action of the legs and the stability of the hips. There's a little bit of a back bend here. We worked on strength in the back of the shoulders in our last class, find that. Rib cage stays tucked in. And then one, two, three, teeter totter into standing splits. Good. We'll begin our little flow of Shiva squats. So bending that knee, touch the back, touch the ankles together as you come down into a little squat. If your knees don't like to bend that much, stay up a little higher. Just really feeling the action of both of your glutes as you extend up. One more time. Come up into standing splits. You can bring one or both of your hands to your left ankle. If you're working on balance, look ahead of you. Pick up your head a little bit and look forward at one point. And then hands to the floor, drop the back foot, drop the back heel, come up to warrior one. Woo, and out to warrior two. Bend and straight. Everybody join me in one of those. Woo. Loud sighs, open and lower. Just move energy through your body. We've been holding those stable, strong poses. It's time to just let the energy flow. Warrior two. Inhale to reverse warrior with a straight leg and breathe into the side of your body. Space for breath. Breathing in, I am aware that I have a body. Breathing out, I feel gratitude for this body that I have. Come back to warrior two. Straighten all 10 toes, bring your arms behind, interlace and fold. And once again, just come back to your breath. Come back to awareness of the body here. Ease your hands to your back. Release the hands to the floor. Put a big bend in the knees, let the toes start to turn out. Hands to the thighs, come up into this goddess squat. And we're just gonna lift and lower here. Another great way to strengthen the glutes. So as you stand up, feel those muscles of the hips working hard to, to help to play back up to the muscles in the back and the legs. Heel toe your feet together. One more little flow before we put all of that together in our warrior three. I'd like you to come into tree pose. So turning the left knee out, 
and your glute muscles are helping you do that action as well. The foot can be below or above the knee, but I'd like you to bring it to where you um, don't need your hands to place it. And of course, we always avoid the knee. Take a deep breath in here. Open your arms out. Receptive, a gesture. And we're gonna go slow motion with this one. So slide the foot behind the opposite leg. Bring the hands in and return to a little bit of a curtsy. So you can touch your toes to the floor. And then we're gonna open again, tree pose and come down and open and come down. And of course you feel your standing leg doing the work. Stable, strong, right where we need it for any balancing pose. Come back to mountain pose, pause for a moment, feel, feel your feet, feel your legs, feel your glutes, feel your torso, feel your arms and shoulders, feel your neck and your head. Come into tree on the other side. Right knee comes out. You're welcome to keep a kickstand if that's helpful. Notice the tendency for that hip to pop out. And remember all the work we did on hip stability, we wanna hug that bone in as we come to balance. Arms open. And then slow motion, tuck the toe behind, come down into your little Shiva squat, little curtsy. Move with your breath. When you see Shiva depicted, sometimes he's playing the flute. Shiva is actually the god of destruction. And that sounds kind of scary, but Shiva is the god of destruction of all that is finished. He comes in our lives to help us sweep out the ashes of what is complete. One more time. and come back to center, find your mountain. Once again, feel whole body standing here with breath, breathing in. I am aware that I have a body. Breathing out, I feel gratitude for this body that I have. Hands come in front of the heart. Moving into warrior three. So as we stand in mountain pose, imagine squeezing a block between your knees. Bring your hands to your outer thighs and imagine pressing out into your hands. Can you do both? Keeping all of that, glide your left toes backwards. So keep the block keep the outward tension. And now you've got that scissor effect again. The hands come to the heart, the glutes engage to bring the hips forward and this leg back. Little back bend and we begin. So lift now into warrior three from that left glute. Let that be the action that brings you into warrior three. The lifting of the back leg. You can bring one hand to the thigh or both. You might explore one arm extended and one on your body. And maybe both with strong upper back and back shoulders. But lift your left glute. That's the work today. Even if you're up here, squeeze your glute really fiercely. 
really fiercely. A lot of the strength of this pose is in lifting that leg. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and return home. Woo! I know you're, you're love hating me right now. Arms sweep high, bow low, find a stretch. Shake it all off. Call in Shiva. Sweep out the ashes. We are finished with that side. Nothing to hold on to. Just breath. And then lift halfway from your glutes. You might even put your hands here. Push yourself to stand using your glutes. Ah, interesting, huh? Hands at heart. Squeeze the imaginary block. Press out against your hands. Slide the right toes back. So we already have that right glute ready to go. Lift and lengthen, little back bend. When you're ready for warrior three, use the right glute to drive you forward. So as you begin to lift the, that back leg, the body naturally will tilt forward. Let the right glute be the lead actor doing the majority of the work here. Our left leg is stable, we already know that. You're welcome to use a hand on the leg. Both the arms are just accessories, right? They're like earrings. All of the work happens in the back of the hip, the back of the body. Breathe here for five, four, Three, two, one. Ooh, baby, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Let everything go. Let everything go. Hands to mat, knees come down. And I'm gonna treat us to some pigeon pose at the end of this class. So we're done with glute strength. We'll do a glute stretch. So right knee to right ankle. Make sure there's no sharp pain in the knee. Use any props underneath that help you. You can stay up, lower to elbows or all the way to the floor. If Pigeon pose is a big fat no for your uh, knees. Come to either seated or lying down, figure four. Same stretch. Just take care of yourself. Breathing in. I am aware that I have a body. Breathing out, I feel gratitude for this body that I have. Breathing in, I am aware that I have thoughts. My thoughts are not me. Breathing out, I feel gratitude that I have thoughts. Breathing in, I am aware that I have emotions. And who is this I observing these emotions? Breathing out, I feel gratitude that I get to experience emotions. Take your time in transition to the left side any way you like, maybe shaking out a leg, maybe laying flat on the ground, maybe stillness, maybe just switching sides, really protecting the knee 
and choosing to sit or lie down if that seems like a better idea. Breathe in, aware, breathe out, grateful. Aware and grateful. When you're ready, releasing from this pose, again, taking any kind of transition that works for you. Then lower our knees to the ground and bring ourselves around to a seat. I give them to offer you the choice of seated meditation or Shavasana. See what your body needs most right now. Really downtime without any muscular effort or a moment in quiet seated meditation. As you come into the resting posture of choice, notice again what is here now just acknowledging thinking feeling sensations in the body and breath this whole being resting here it all gets to be here every part of you welcome here you continue resting notice the way your lungs expand and soften with each breath feel that gentle wave-like action in your chest with each inhale and with each exhale In the words of Jeff Foster, stop trying to heal yourself, fix yourself, or even awaken yourself. Let go of letting go. Stop trying to fast forward the movie of your life, chasing futures that never seem to arrive. Instead, Bow deeply to yourself as you actually are. Your pain, your sorrow, your doubts, your deepest longings, your fearful thoughts are not mistakes and they aren't asking to be healed. They are asking to be held. Here, now, lightly 
in the arms of present awareness. So if you are lying down, begin the journey of returning to a seat. Here and now, lightly in the arms of present awareness. Bring your hands in front of your heart and friends, Bow deeply to yourself as you actually are. Your whole being here and now. It all gets to be here. It is not asking to be healed. It is asking to be held. May we take all of these parts with us, especially our glutes that might be kind of sore, into the day ahead and live with joy and openness and an inner sense of peace. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.